Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today I'm here to give you my first ever book unhaul. Now, some of these you may have seen throughout the year as I have been DNFing or pulling books off of my shelves and um, getting rid of them, but there's also books that I have read that I've decided to pass on as well. So I have a pretty big collection. I think I counted it 41. It could be a little off, but I think 41 was the number that I counted to. With the exception of a few books, I think there are maybe, I think there's maybe one book that I haven't at least tried to read or already read part of the series. Everything is either something that I have read and just didn't love, or something that I started reading the series and didn't enjoy the rest of it, or I started reading the book and didn't enjoy it. Or in one case, in one case there was a book that was a gift that is just not my style, and then there's another one that is just a duplicate copy of a book that I have. So let's get to it. First we'll start with the Jessica Must Not Like Classics collection. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. The Witches of Eastwick by John Updike. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. H.P. Lovecraft Classic Stories. Dracula. Bram Stoker. Tower of Dawn. Sarah J. Moss. This is the one I have a duplicate copy of. Hilariously, the other one doesn't have a dust jacket either. I have like 12 books that are Laurel K. Hamilton. We've got Out of This World, which is a compilation. Bullet. Incubus Dreams. Dance Macabre. Micah. Never After. Another compilation. Cerulean Sense. Narcissus and Chains. The Harlequin. Flirt. Skin Trade. And Blood Noir. I read the first nine books in that series and loved the detective aspect of the first four or five books and then it got pretty much into just weird sex stuff that I don't really enjoy so I'm not going to continue reading those and I'll pass them on to someone who might enjoy. The Fifth Wave Trilogy. The Fifth Wave. The Infinite Sea. The Last Star. I read The Fifth Wave. Didn't love it unhauling the other two without having read them. Hollow City by Ransom Riggs. I kept the first book because I loved the first book. Didn't love this one as much and I never even bought the third book but I read it via audiobook so I'm keeping the first book because I loved it and because it has some nostalgia. This one not so much. Twilight Stephanie Meyer. Read it, didn't love it. Also didn't hate it but didn't love it. The Evermore series by Alison Noel. If you ever hear me talk about this series on my channel where I say it's a book series that follows two teenagers who do everything they can, including murder their best friends in order to have sex with one another. That's what this is. So you have Evermore, Blue Moon, Shadowland, Dark Flame, Night Star, and Everlasting. And yes, I did read all six of those. I did kind of enjoy the first couple and then it went downhill from there. The Wrath and the Dawn and The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Avier. DNF'd this, so I'm not going to read this. When we talk about the one that was a gift, it was this one, uh, Something Borrowed by Emily Giffen. It's just not my style. It's like a girl sleeps with her best friend's fiance and falls in love with him, and I can't think of anything that would justify that to me that would make me enjoy this book, so it's out. Found another one, Animal Farm. I really like 1984. I really don't like Animal Farm. Uh, Angels and Demons and The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. Didn't love Angels and Demons, so I'm never gonna read The Da Vinci Code. Uh, the next few were all DNFs. The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. Breaking the Zelda by Tabitha Shipley. And I Darkened by Kirsten White. And Robert Michaels, The Demon in the Trees by Ben Sanders. And then the last one is my box set of The Maze Runner. So I read The Maze Runner and The Scorch Trials, but I didn't love either of them. So I'm not ever gonna read The Death Cure or The Kill Order, so just getting rid of the whole thing and it's pretty packaged. I counted 43 this time. So those are the 43 books that I am going to be getting rid of. I'm going to contact both my local library, my local bookstore, and my local high school library and see if they want anything and then everything else will probably go to Goodwill. I don't know what's gonna happen but I'm not gonna keep them because I don't love them and my shelves are pretty full so I should just keep books that I love. I would tell you to talk me out of it in the comments section but I have gave everything a try so like even the books that I DNF'd I DNF'd at like 50% so I don't feel like there's anything that I really need to give a try to at this point. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekend. If you liked this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future make sure you subscribe and until then I will see you guys next time.